You may remember we spoke the other week about the Kawasaki Z650 that we've been doing up for, for the past couple of weeks. And it was fitted with this seat, which is a kind of king and queen thing, and it's a quality seat. However, I don't like them. Uh, but somebody will buy it, so what am I going to do? So I'm going to sell this, I'll put this on eBay and somebody will take this away. I'll rub the furniture off it because it'll fit, um, I need the, this to fit it to, to our bike. But pop that down, and I've got this, which is our proper Kawasaki Z650 seat. But as you can see, it's got a split in it there, which uh, it won't suffice. So what am I going to do with that? I'll recover this, and I have the very cover right here. It's a genuine Kawasaki type cover. Well, it's a Kawasaki cover. It says Kawasaki on it. That must mean it's made by Kawasaki, surely. A uh, little Kawasaki logo there, so it's identical to the one that's on. But it's actually, you know, it's going to look really nice when it's on the bike and it'll fit perfectly. These are done by... Uh, I'll just cut this off with a modelling knife. And then you band, bend all these little tangs back here. And simply, they're all pointed, and simply stretch the seat over it, and um, it'll fit really nicely. So you've got to be quite careful how you do it. Other seats are done by um, uh, by gluing, and the only thing to be careful about there when you glue them is if you spray the seat first, and you use your kind of uh, impact adhesive, um, like Evo Stick or I don't know what you who or one of these things, it actually attacks the paint and takes it off straight away. So paint it afterwards. But um, this one doesn't need that. This will just um, we'll just cut it off now and we'll bend all these tangs back and start stretching the seat cover over it. So um, let's get ready and we'll do that now. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just stretch this off. I won't need to cut it actually, I thought I might. And all one does is bend these tabs back gently and the seat cover will pull off them quite easily. And getting it back on as prettily. That is of course the challenge. But, uh, I've done them before and how will they cause some angst and concern because it's not something, you know, it's not my profession or posting. But you can actually get these really very nice and it's forgiving because of the uh, you know, you're not gluing, so you haven't got a um, a very, very finite time to to get it right. So just bend these tabs back gently, and when I've got the seat off, I'll straighten them all out. I'll put my glove back on. I'm only wearing one glove. See that's coming off really quite easily. So I'll just continue to work my way around it. And when I've got this off and uh, the tabs all straightened, I'll give you a show. Right, I've got the cover off now. It only took a couple of minutes. So what I'm going to do now. I'll get all these tabs straightened because I'm going to stretch the seat over this base, which is actually, if you have a look, it really is a nice base. And the foam's in really good shape, and the base is really quite glossy. Um, you know, everything's as it should be. All the little bits that, that rest on the frame to support the seat are there. So this is really going to make a nice seat, and there's even a couple of stickers on it. So I'll just work my way around it now with my pliers. And just straighten these little tabs out so that when I put the seat over that will just pierce the cover nicely when I have to do it and then I can just bend these tabs back down and it will really hold it well. The ones in the corners are always the difficult ones. But As I always say guys, if this is not the way you do it, tell me how you do. And uh, I think that one's a bit nasty, so I'm gonna... that's really a bit out of shape. So I'm just gonna ease that up. I'll be alright. 
leave these little tabs up here, which I hope you can see. And once again, I'll just straighten those. One there which is still flat. Oops. I'll straighten that on. You know, get them kind of these ones in a downward position so it'll just when you push the seat cover through it, it'll just hold it nicely. And to make these ones a bit more horizontal. Okay, that's all those tabs. One there that I've overlooked. Let's straighten it out. And that one. There's one there. Okay, we're about ready to go. The key to this is getting it even all the way around. So put it in there. I'll make sure it's right in the middle. I could secure that here. So we've got that exactly even, which it is. So lift that over and just press it through, and you'll probably see those little tabs starting to pop through there. And when I'm ready, I'll just tap those down with my very small hammer. That's not a euphemism. There we are. I'll just use that to, to teen these over. Now what I want to do is make sure the Kawasaki logo is right in the middle of the back of the seat. Again, I'll just pinch that through there. Just making sure that I really kind of pierced the seat and got a hold of it. Stretch nice and tight over it. See it there, that is. That's how I'd want it to be. So I'll just continue working around it now. I'll pinch, I'll peen those over a little bit. This was a slip. And now I'll work my way around the seat, pulling it down really firmly. Uh, so it's nice and taut all the way around. So, back to you in a moment. All right, I've got this seat, um, th this cover, fastened on in a kind of rough manner to that which it's going to, which I need it to be. And you, you've got a bit of stretching and pulling to do to make sure it's even. Whoops! But now you can see that looks pretty much as I'd want it to be. 
it's uh, there in the right place. The Kawasaki logo is still exactly where I'd want it to be. But what I need to do now is trim off this excess. There's quite a lot of excess here. And what I will do is stick this down afterwards with a bit of impact adhesive, just to make sure that, that I've got this really nice and nice and neat afterwards. But I'm gonna go along here now with my modeling knife and trim off the extra. So let's just do that now. And then I can start to tidy these bits up and make the corners pretty, you know, by stretching them and folding them older, tucking them under, and then I can glue these along here uh, and glue these edges in. Um, likewise at the front as well. I'll trim this all off, off along, oops, along there, just where I've got it fastened, and then I can kind of tidy all that up and make it really pretty. So let's just start that now. Give them to slash your fingers. As a younger man, I worked in uh, in the oil fields, and I've had 13 stitches in that finger, 13 in my thumb, and largely as a result of youthful enthusiasm and Stanley knives. Too much, otherwise you end up with a wee gap. Okay, so I'll do this along there. Once I can come up here. Probably cut a little nick in there just to so I can fold this over nicely. One thing at a time. Trim that in a moment. Now just go along this side and trim it off lightwise. Surprisingly, when you're doing this with impact adhesive, you know if they don't, if the Hondas don't have hooks on them, you just have to stick them on. But um, even that can be surprisingly, I don't say easy, but more easy than you might expect, and you get a better result than than you may have feared. It's a question of not trying to rush it, which I'm trying to do because of you.
Right, I'll trim up this end first. Once again, checking it still looks like it should. It's still in the middle. Two folds of vinyl and a seam there, so I don't really want to puncture it. But we're gonna make it. Okay. hammer when you want it. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to cut these now and glue these over and I'll be back and I've, I'm going to glue this, these bits down as well I'll be back in a moment I've got the seat fitted to the, the base now and the, most of the excess cut off um, you end up with one or two folds like this but this is an impact ad adhesive and what I'm going to do now is work my way around here and just you put a little bit of impact adhesive on there and give it a minute to go off don't try and make it stick straight away because it won't. Just put a little bit under these bits. I'm going to work up my way along here now. I'll rub something with my fingers. I hate to get it on my fingers, but what are you going to do? Um, don't try and make it stick straight away because it won't. You have to give it a minute just to start. I'll work around that to buckle hole there. And by the time I've cut around that buckle, Oh, this will be ready to stick. Yeah! Okay! His master's voice, his master's voice was calling, so I had to go. Okay, a minute ago, I put some glue on here. You can see there now, it started to go off, and that will start to stick. It wouldn't have done it a few minutes ago. And maybe just a wee bit soon anyway. No, it's starting to go now. No, just leave it soon. Um, so let me just pop that to one side. And I'll get my knife and cut. There's a little mount here where the, um, you know, where the buckle goes through to sec for, for the for the the strap. This is a new blade, so it should be pretty better than it is. Come on, just cut gently down there, and then I can glue that down. I will do is put, see that's already stuck there. But I will just ease that up, pop a little bit of glue in that. Just a, only a tiny bit. Oh come on. Fat fingers you see. And you can see that's all starting to stick there now. That bit isn't because it's trying to make me a liar you see. Thing. That falls down quite nicely. Okay, a little bit under there. I'll maybe just cut that wee edge off. This is where I stick the, the, the scissors through the seat. Not 
a very clever thing there would be to rest the seat on top of the glue that's sitting there. That'd be good, wouldn't it? This is really very forgiving, this kind of impact adhesive, and you get quite a few minutes to go along. You can see I've, I've trimmed that there and I've put a little bit of glue under that bit. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. I'm going along this back edge now. Careful not to put it in the glue that I've just spilled. Press that all down. Because I put the glue on. What is Master's voice called? Okay, I'll put the strap back on that. Oh, that's not glue, is it? No, it's not. And I think you'll agree. That's going to look alright. That took me, I don't know, half an hour or 40 minutes. So I will put the buckle and strap back on it, which I've got lying here somewhere hiding from me. There we are. So I'll put the buckle and strap back on there. Actually I may have another strap for it because the problem there is crocheting in old that looks as opposed to the new seat cover so quite often you get a, a um, another strap with it. I'll just check in the bag and if, if I have one I'll pop that on too. So one way or another I think that's a result for 45 minutes or so of effort. I've got a really nice seat in there. It'll look great when it's on the bike and far better than the one that was on previously. So, once again, puts a bit of a smile on the bike. That's what we're all about doing, isn't it? Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm.